Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this class, we are going to see about how the real numbers are stored in the computer system in single precision IEEE 754 floating point standard. It is very important topic regarding gate exam. So let us take a number 85.125. So this is the real number. The first step is you are going to find the equivalent binary number to 85.125. One two five. So for eighty five, you are going to find binary number. So two, four, one, two, twenty one, zero. So two, ten. The remainder is one. Two, five. Remainder is zero. Two, one and two one zero. So what is the equivalent number? One zero. 10101 one, one. 85 equals to 1010101 one, 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 one. okay so that is the first step so next one is you are going to find the equivalent binary number to 0 0.125 the number is 0 0.125 so how we can find binary number multiplying with 2 when i am multiplying with 2 i got 0 0.250 so what is the digit in this place? 0. So the binary equivalent is 0. Next take this value 0 0.250 into 2. So what is the number here? 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 means we are going to take 0 and again you are going to multiply with 2. So 0 0.5 means 1.0. So what is the digit here? 1. So you can place here. Here we got the 0. So nothing is Nothing is there to multiply with 2. So, so this is the binary number. So that means 0 0.125 means we got 0, 0, 1. Okay, now, so 85.125 means, so 1010101 dot 0, 0, 1. Okay, so this is the first step. You are going to convert the number into binary number. Next, so what is the procedure? Already we discussed in our previous class. So normalize this number that we are called as a scientific notation. As per the IEEE format, the number has only one digit in the left. So that means how many digits now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So how many digits we want? Only one digit. So, so next step is normalization. So how we can normalize this? So this is the number. So I can normalize up to one digit. So it becomes 1.0101001. 1 .01 so how many digits here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So multiply with 2 power 6. Okay. So after normalization, so this is the number. So what is the next step? So exponent and multiplication. So what is the structure of IEEE 750 floating point standard? So sign bit, exponent and multiplication. So this is 1 bit. A man exponent 8 bits and the remaining 23 bits are mantisa so total 32 bits okay so now you are going to find the exponent okay what is the exponent here 6 if it is the single precision then the default bias number is 127 so 127 here the 2 power exponent is 6 if it is a positive number, you are going to add that to the add this number 6 to the 127. If it is a negative value, then you are going to minus that. Okay. So here in this case, positive value. So, so 127 plus 6. So that means 133. Now the next step is you are going to convert the 133 into binary number. So then we got one zero 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 one zero one okay so this we are called as a exponent that means what is the sign here the sign is plus so zero the exponent is one zero 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 one zero one the next one mantisa what is the mantisa here this part we are called as a mantisa so place that part in mantisa zero one zero one 
zero one zero zero one. How many bits we have? One two three four five six seven eight nine. Here the twenty three. So remaining bits are zero. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. So this is the so equivalent binary number equals to eighty five point one two five. If you are using the double precision, then the bias is one zero two three, and the size of exponent bit is eleven bits. Mantis size is fifty two, fifty two bits. The remaining process is same. So now we are going to see how we can retrieve a real number from the computer. So this is the eighty five point one two five. We store like this. So this is the so how this number is stored in the computer so now we are going to see a formula so this is the formula so minus 1 of s so what is the s here sign if the sign is 0 you are going to put 0 in the place of s if it is a 1 you are going to put so 1 in the place of s next 1 plus m so m is nothing but so mantis and 2 power e is nothing but exponent Okay, so now some minus one of s. So what is the s value here? Zero. So you are going to put zero. So next one plus m. What is the m here? Mantis a zero one zero one zero one zero zero one. Now you can convert into the binary number. How? So zero into two power minus one. So one into two power minus two. Zero into two power three. So one into two power minus four. Zero into two power minus five. One into two power minus six. So zero into two power minus seven. So zero into two power minus eight. One into two power minus nine. So next you are going to calculate. So so two power minus two means zero point two five. That means so one by four. And similarly here. One by sixteen that equals to zero point zero six two five and similarly here sixty four one by sixty four and similarly so one by five twelve I think yeah this is the zero point zero zero one so this is equivalent to one by sixty four zero point zero one five six two five so this is equivalent one by one so last one. So zero point zero zero one nine five three one two five. When we can sum, we got this number zero point three three zero zero seven eight one two five. So this you are going to place here. So what is the mantis? Sir, for zero one zero one zero one zero zero one, we got zero point three three zero zero seven eight one two five into so two power exponent. So what is the exponent here? The exponent is. One zero 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 one zero one. So this is the exponent. Now, so we convert into the binary number. We got one thirty three. So one thirty three is greater than one twenty seven. In this case, as you are going to subtraction operation, that is one twenty seven. If this number is less than one twenty seven, you are going to perform addition. So one thirty three minus one twenty seven, we got six. So so two power six. So after that you are going to calculate some minus one of zero plus so one point you can add this one point three three zero zero seven eight one two five into two power six means sixty four. You multiply this you got eighty five point one two five the eighty five point one two five. So in this way you are going to convert a real number into binary number that is stored in the computer system and So by taking this binary number, you are going to find the real number also. Okay. In gate exam, they are asking that they are going to give one real number. They are asking what is the equivalent hexadecimal number. This is the binary number we got when we convert this eighty five point one two five into binary number. So now hexadecimal is nothing but divided into four bits. So what is the result here? Zero. So one zero 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 one zero one zero zero one zero one zero one zero zero one zero 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 zero. So total thirty two bits. Now hexadecimal is nothing but 
वन टू थ्री फोर कन्वर्ट दिस बाइनरी नंबर इनटू हेक्साडेसिमल सो जीरो जीरो वन जीरो मींस टू वन जीरो वन जीरो मींस टेन वन जीरो वन जीरो मींस टेन जीरो वन जीरो जीरो मींस टू जीरो 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 दैट मींस इक्वलेंट हेक्साडेसिमल नंबर इज फोर टू टेन मींस ये टेन मींस ये टू जीरो 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 दैट्स इट so this is the hexadecimal representation of 85.125 i hope you all are understand how the real numbers are stored in the computer system